and we're here with Visionox. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is CCD, work in Visionox, and here I would like to introduce our new technology, VIP. VIP stands for Visionox Intelligent Visualization. We use photolithography to replace the conventional FMM. So in uh, VIP technology, we can have better performance. And uh, uh, for example, we can have larger aperture ratio, and we can have higher brightness, longer lifetime, and also the more competitive cost. So uh, in, in these exhibitions, we demonstrate a 7.9 inch foldable AMOLED used uh, fabricated by VIP. And hope you can uh, come here to see the, the prototype. Thank so you. you say here, potentially four times brighter. Yes. Six oh. times longer life. Yes. Higher pixel density. Yes. All this is possible because of VIP. Yeah, because of VIP. Because we use photolithography, so we can remove all the limitations from the fine metal mask. So no matter in aperture ratio and the lifetime, yeah, we can improve it. And to combine with our other new technology, higher. Uh, pixel density could be achieved. Uh, so, so, so we're talking about higher pixel density, uh, brighter, yes, uh, longer life, no burn-in problems? Yes. Less burn-in problem? Yeah, because longer lifetime. So combined with Tempton, we can have six times longer. So uh, there won't be the burning the patients here. How far is this from mass production? Uh, we are targeting to have production in next year. Next year? Yeah. Uh, what is it going to change in terms of price? Is it more expensive? Uh, I'm not sure, but we can provide more value to our customers. Yeah. No matter in the image quality or the lead time, and also for the pixel designs. For example, we can have um, very, uh, very new uh, ID, ID design. So for the shape, it could be customizable. And it says lower comprehensive cost. Yes, yes. How is possible? Uh, because we remove fine metal mask, mm -hmm. so the cost of fine metal mask could be reduced. So you just take it away, that cost. And is this implemented in the foldable display? Yes, this one is foldable prototype. We just uh, input the, the sample into the under metric V. So here you can see the foldable behavior. So this is the one? This is what you change? Uh, yeah. Or do you change many different things? This one, patterning technology. We use photolithography. And how do you uh, optimize the photolithography? Yeah, is it cutting edge photolithography? Yes, that's conventional photolithography process, but we design a very specific process flow. So we can prevent from the all the damage from the liquid. Then we we encap all the subpixels at the first, and then to have the photo is great. All right. Uh, so this is first time you show this. Yes. Yes. That's our first time to demonstrate this technology. And uh, in this exhibition, we see similar uh, demos, but. Our prototype will be the best one, no matter in the size or in the uh, pixel density or other performance aspects. Nice. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Maybe I can walk around and have a look if we can uh, uh, do com complete the boost tour. Um, hey. Do you want we do the boost tour? Yeah? Cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is a rollable uh, laptop display we've been built for uh, for the future customer, uh, we've been uh, trying to enable our customer in, uh, to design different form of a laptop in the future. And, uh, and, and uh, we can see there's, uh, there's another, another one we, uh, we can show today. This is a very, very beautiful display. And so, can I film behind? Yeah. Yeah? Sure, yeah? Sure. So, it just rolls up. And you have like a, do you actually show it rolling at the show or? Um, uh, maybe not yeah. now. Okay, later. Okay. Later. No. Okay. All right. No. So which one should we go to? There? Yeah. 
Yeah. And for this area, we do have our uh, transparent OLED display, which we, we can support up to 50% transmitters, and, and we, uh, which can be applied into, uh, uh, into automotive uh, scenario. We, we can do both glass-based in, in flat shape and also uh, PI shape, PI based in, in curved surface. And you, people can vote, people's choice. Yeah. Uh, this this is for the future of self-driving cars. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just have a the whole the whole window. window. Yeah, showing up at all display, the advertising and, and the contact and the delivery information, all, all kind of information you can do, and it, it can also see allow people to see from in, inner side. So if you don't mind having a lot of uh, advertising on your future yes. self-driving Uber yes. ride, yes, Uber uh, ride. then you could get a free ride because the advertiser will pay for the whole trip, yeah. maybe. Maybe in the future, yes, of course. All right. Yeah. Transmittance. Yeah. Cool. It's, 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 this kind of display can be also applied into the uh, merchandise shop which can allow people to see different uh, different advertising and uh, different uh, like the dress you can try it on the dress and, and, uh, and uh, you, you can see something inside this is already being applied already in, in the market but uh, we are uh, we can do it in, in different substrate both glass and, and, and a CPI nice Maybe you can put it right in the middle there in the middle okay. Yeah, this is a, uh, a application scenario we built for uh, the uh, medical box. It's, it's, it can be folded on uh, both sides. It gives uh, a very beautiful uh, vision experience. What does a vision ox mean? Vision of X. X means the future. The, we, can, we want to see the vision for the future and uh, prov promote the uh, human uh, experience on the, on the vision, nice. especially the displays. Yeah. Yeah. This one is, is the uh, uh, experience for the uh, uh, flexible displays. As you can see from the top side, it, it can be shaped into different curve, even multiple curve in one panel. How's the performance on a display like this compared to a flat one? Yeah, actually it can give us uh, more design uh, uh, capabilities for, 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 for the electronics or electronics devices and uh, as you can see in the in the in the front side the, the color gamma the the response time is and, and off angle color shift performance is, is much much better than traditional uh, LCD display what are we seeing here we're see, we're looking at the uh, a tablet, uh, flexible tablet display, uh, we've been we've been developing now, and we and uh, it's it's so it's, it's a, plastic front. It's not glass. It, it's a plastic based. Plastic, a plastic based, but it used in a, in a in a flat shape. But it, this is a flexible display. Does that mean it's more durable? It's less likely to break, or not yes, necessarily? Yes, it's it's literally it's non-breakable because it's a. Uh, PI based and when, when the device falling into the ground and there's no crack of the panel so uh, little, th this is a solution uh, for, nice. for safety maybe in the future yeah. and right here and in, the, in the middle uh, side I see a I can dynamic see, slidable yeah it's dyna dynamic slidable all right and we have some more foldable Is it uh, actually folding and rolling during the show? Uh, for now, it's not. But, uh, uh, but it's capable, capable yeah. of doing it's that. It's capable of uh, uh, folding in, in, in both, both directions. Okay, you just need to power on the foldable mechanism. Mm -hmm. And what do we see here? Yeah. A long this roll. One, for this one, is, this is a rollable solution demo. And uh, as a, it's more like a, a roll, a roll of uh, pepper that you can spread it. You can r roll up. All right. Okay. Yeah. So later maybe 
you show it off yeah. doing all the rolling and folding. Yeah, of course. And 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 this is a uh, demo for uh, for, yeah. for for driver's scenario. It gives uh, a very uh, seen but a very broad vision of a. Uh, of the display that you can see, in, uh, you can in, in, in integrate uh, different uh, information onto the display, for like uh, the dashboard information and the uh, central information display, and uh, and, uh, and uh, e mirror on the both side. Uh, and what's happened in the middle? The crease is just two different displays. Yeah, it's a two. It, this is a two. This is a, a two dis two displays. They put together, and there's a there's something in the middle. But, but it's but to be fixed like this. It's not folding or rolling or something. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a fixed shape. Yeah, yeah, fixed shape, not right. not dy dynamic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. there and it is. You can see this. Uh, nice. It's dynamic, foldable, in both direction. Nice. So it can fold millions of times before breaking? Yeah. Oh. Um, hundreds of thousands? Hundreds of thousands. And is this mass production for the dynamic slideable? Uh, we are ready for mass production. Nice. This one, no. yeah. This is there a rollable. Is. Cool. Nice. That's awesome. It's, yeah. I really feel like I'm in the future right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do we see here? And uh, over here we we uh, demonstrate our super high frame rate display, <laughs> even up to 240, 240 hertz. Yeah, you can you can take a close look. Yeah. On the upper hertz. side, it's a uh, 240 hertz display, and on the downside is a uh, 120 hertz. Yeah. Yeah, my, f my video is only 60 hertz. It's going to be hard to, to show yeah, what, I'm, yeah, but, what I'm experiencing. But with human eye, you can, you can recognize the differences in different yeah. uh, hertz as, as the, the image is dragged along in the lower hertz. It's more realistic, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have the higher uh, frame rate, it just feels more smooth. What is this? What is this? Is that a oh, no, secret no, no, feature no, display? Uh, no, that's not no? a display. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and yeah. with more uh, more advanced, with the more advanced uh, OLED material generation upgrade, we can uh, significantly lo lower the uh, power consumption and try to give more long uh, lifetime performance into our display. Is it um, variable refresh? I'm sorry. No, it's not variable refresh. How uh, do you get the lower power on this? Uh, this one is using uh, le uh, the latest OLED material generation. So with with with, with the uh, with the uh, latest uh, new uh, generation of um, OLED material, the power consumption can be lower, and the life performance can be better. And we, of course, we do have other technologies. For example, like a variable frame rate and uh, uh, from one hertz. From 30 hertz to 30 hertz, 60 hertz, or, or even 120 hertz. As you can see over here, we we have a demonstration for for um, uh, 180 hertz and and 90 hertz in, in flexible di mobile display. Flexible. Mm -hmm. Are you able to do the same hertz for flexible and not flexible, or is it a challenge? Yeah, we can do we can do uh, different hertz, but on on. Uh, the, mo the important part is that we 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 can. Uh, this is a this is a demo straight there. We uh, sorry. This is a. This is a mass production device. Yes, this is a mass production device we built for for Razer, for for, right. for, for, for gaming 
Yeah, this needs Forget to log in or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is not cool. Just, okay, you can log in. Okay. okay. Nice. Okay. And for this area, it, we we in, we can we introduce our uh, NV ALT technology. We can allow uh, uh, lower as lower to uh, 30 or even 1 hertz in our LTPS uh, panel. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's refreshes only once per second. Yeah. Like for a clock. Right. Yeah. Five hertz. And. No. This is a regular LTPS best OLED technology, but uh, we, uh, with our uh, ALT technology, we can make it as low as to five hertz or even one hertz without yes. without uh, observable flicker. Uh, what what's the the power saving when you do one hertz? How much bit difference? Is it sixty times less power than sixty hertz? Yeah, when you or do how much less power? Yeah, when you do like uh, 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 in, a, in a certain color uh, and uh, in a certain size, the 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 power ratio we can save for from RC level can be very uh, significantly lower. And what uh, do we see here? We're 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 looking at the uh, HLEMS technology. This is a uh, new our our new light extracting technology with uh, very high efficiency and low power consumption. This is mostly for, for, for the consu power consumption. Right? We made this technology to allow our customer give uh, longer lasting better li battery life. And so the customer and user can have a better experience based on their devices. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And what's the last demo you have there? For this one, is, uh, we built the, our a ALT technology into phone size, which can support as low as, as uh, 30 hertz. As, as, you, as we, you know, uh, lower hertz, uh, lower frame rate will, give, uh, will, will, will have a lower power consumption. This, this, all of this can contribute into longer battery life. It's possible, potentially, as I see here, it's twenty percent, something like twenty percent longer battery life, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have variable refresh yes. for the whole device. Yes. And this area, we have our uh, uh, bezel-less technology. And for, for example, we, uh, if you look at this this watch size uh, display, uh, we can minimize the border as down to 1.24 millimeter. And how, how do you do that? Yeah, by optimizing the, the process recipe and also the design by using the, uh, uh, the cutting edge technology of our industry. And uh, look, if you look at the, uh, this phone size panel, we can do uh, less than one millimeter border on, on, on both for upper, down, left side, side, and even for the for the uh, corner, we can do 0.5 millimeter border. This is the ultra thin, ultra border technology. Is it the thinnest bezel in the world? Yeah, we uh, uh, we don't want to compete one with any company in the industry. We want to compete with, with ourselves. We want to give. Uh, Better and better experience to the customer, so 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 the, the end user brand like uh, uh, the the brand uh, phone companies can design better uh, ID and uh, give better experience to the end, end user. Nice. This is a uh, bezel-less technology, and this you might not uh, it might not easy to to capture the uh, but look at the. The upper side, when, when, when the fruit, when the fruit fall from the upper side, this uh, we bend it the panel and, and to the uh, rear side. So, so as you can see, the fruit falls from the top side. There's literally no bezel because we bend the panel uh, and extend it wow. to the rear side. So now the bezel is the display. Yeah, it's it's a bezel list. Zero yeah. bezel. Literally, it's like 
the dream. Yeah. People don't like bezels. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah, of course. Unless. And this is new technology area. Yeah, we have different uh, uh, new technology under development. We were trying to innovate, uh, activate the market with our innovation. This is our in integrated optical fingerprint technology we use in the uh, 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 high DPI solution for uh, touch sensor in panel. Does that mean? more security because it's higher resolution or uh, more uh, reliable yeah most of the solution in the market they will give a, a small area for, for example even smaller than smaller than this area so the, so people can only use one finger to recognize uh, the, the user but in but with this technology we can we can enlarge the area of this touch uh, nice. uh, touch sense area so you can you can put both of your your finger, even two finger together, and into one area, so you can recognize it's more safe, safety. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So you could have a security functionality where there's a two secret fingers. Yeah. You don't know which finger, yeah. and then you have to put those finger, and then you log in. Yes. You Both at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two finger can come from two different people. This is a this is oh. a potential application scenario. And this one is a 3D MVC <coughs> solution. We we put we our technology can support uh, a 3D in-depth in -depth camera in the rear side of the panel, which means you can use the panel as a, as a full screen area if you if you're looking some some at the display. But if you want to look at the camera, there's some some area can be can be tuned and, and the camera from rear side can can put the light uh, emit the light through the panel and we can put at least two camera in the rear side it can give the 3d in-depth recognition on the face a human face yes this uh, this uh, uh, TOF type of uh, uh, so time of field stuff with the, I see a lot of dots all over yes. my face Yes, this is this. So it knows the distance. Out. Yeah, this to everything. Uh huh. Oh, right. Uh huh. Cool. And that for this area, we do have integrated our uh, antenna on display. Yes. We we put the. If you look at the uh, video, this is about a ten or, or twenty second video. Uh, we there's a there's a antenna layer, antenna layer integrated in in the in the in the structure of the display. And we give, we support we uh, give more solutions for for the uh, smartphone to support a uh, 5G connection. Are you able to do phase array uh, design on the yeah. LCD? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean on the OLED. Yeah. How do you do? Yes, let's do a phase array antenna. Phase array antenna yeah. for 5G millimeter wave. <coughs> OLED. Yeah. Phase array. Yeah. Uh, so you can connect this to the satellite. Is it mm -hmm. Starlink? You can do Starlink antenna? Yeah, in the future. Yeah. Actually, it depends on the frequency. So yeah, you can see the beam is steering. Yeah. It's a yeah. phased array. Yeah, yeah. Just the mic too closer. Yeah. yeah. So the beam is a phased array. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with this display, mm -hmm. you have the best signal. Yes. So it's going to be the best 5G yes. or the best whatever. Yeah. Even Wi Fi, Bluetooth, yeah. everything? Yes, connecting to even satellite. Sorry, let me give you my, car, my mic. What is the potential? Antenna. Potential antenna? Yeah, what it can do? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, currently we do the 5G millimeter wave uh, designs. So, so it's a phase array and uh, you can do the beam steering at uh, millimeter wave frequencies. Yeah. So, for, five, for something like wide? Yeah. 5G yeah. millimeter wave? Yes. So, yes. with this display, mm -hmm. the phone will have the best signal in the market. How is it compared with the built in? Uh, the built-in antenna built -in? on a normal phone. Yeah. How's the yeah. signal? Can you combine your phase array with the normal antenna and combine together, get even better signal? Uh, we can deploy several something like uh, LOD designs. Yeah. So we can uh, have something like uh, the selection algorithm to choose the best, the best one to do the radiation. <coughs> Yeah. So if it's built-in antenna, sometimes and a display antenna, yeah, sometimes yeah, 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 sometimes both together. 
Uh, it depends on the algorithm because when you when they work box uh, when they work box, uh, both together, the power consumption maybe is an issue. So for now, yeah, we just choose one of them. Yeah. And you were you were saying this could potentially mm -hmm. also work for Starlink, maybe something like that. Satellite. Yeah. Or you only want to do 5G? Everything is 5G in the future. Uh, everything, actually, everything is possible. Yeah, but it depends on the frequency, and yeah, because frequency is related to the antenna size. So, because yeah. this is a big antenna, you get the full no, 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 display. No, 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 it's a big compared to normal antenna on the phone. What did the normal antenna have, like in every corner? Yeah, what did they do? But actually, yeah, you are right. But the thickness, the height, the antenna height actually is very limited. The antenna height is very important. So the the, air, the area is not not the first priority. The height should be the first priority. So it depends on the frequency. So if the antenna frequency is higher, so we can yeah we need a lower height yeah to do the efficient radiations. Does this have to do with the when people make sound come out of the display they vibrate it very little bit? Is this something to do with that or? Nothing to do with that. Mm, How does do. it work? No, nothing. How do you do an antenna with a display? I have a hard time to understand. Oh, we, we you can see. We just insert an antenna layer in the form of a metal mesh. Yeah, this antenna layer, and then we can design antenna patterns on the layer. But it's very thin. It's not possible yeah. to make it thicker. We we for antenna guys, we prefer thicker substrate. But for uh, display guys, they prefer thinner display. So it's a fight? Not fight. We have to, yeah, we have to follow their requirement because this is a display. Because so. sometimes a uh, phone is like, uh, let's say, 0 0.8 centimeter or 1 centimeter yeah. thickness. Yeah. Huh? So the whole thickness should be an antenna. The is whole thickness? Why not? You mean the convex? Like, uh, you go you mean all the way through the electronics or something, I don't know. Does it make any sense when I'm you saying? Mean a whole you have to stay on the display. You cannot connect with the expand your mesh. I don't know. Sorry. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, for now we prefer on the display. Yeah. Yeah, it has to be on the display. Yeah, for yeah. efficient radiation. Yeah, for efficient. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's how, far, how far is this for mass production? Okay. Now it's uh in a something like a research stage and we uh, hopefully maybe I, I don't know yeah actually it's not so certain yeah maybe we, we hope maybe yeah. we think yeah because this area five years, is something like that. this area is only for the new technology introduction yeah and on all the experimental all the fundamental or uh, we've been conducting uh, research into this specific area so we we were trying to different differentiate the uh, the shortage and from the the, the uh, advantage and try to uh, industrialize this technology in the future. Uh, Is it the first time you show it? Yeah, I believe. Yeah, so. for Vicinos, yes, yes, we yeah. love yeah. so. Because I heard, I think these guys Merck over there, they were doing that for LCD. They talked about LCD factory to make an antenna, but OLED is different. Yeah, yeah it's but, quite different. But the most important thing is that uh, we do the integration. Yeah, we integrate antenna into the display. That's the most important, yeah, and the most uh, meaningful something like uh, things to us and to display industry. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, thank Thanks you. Yeah, thank you a lot. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, this is all we have this year for the SID. And uh, welcome to our booth, and we uh, we've been here waiting for you. Can you explain a little bit uh, your company? Where are you based? And uh, where is the different R and D happening for this? Where is the factory? Oh, uh, we're uh, we're a company dedicating OLED technology for over two decades, and uh, we do have a three panel line in China, and uh, three module line, another line in China, covering from north side to the south side of China, and also we. Uh, our research team uh, and the factory team all based in China. We, uh, but we're opening our U.S. branch in the future, and we'll be launching our uh, uh, sub company later this year, and which.
To supporting our, our, our company to serve all the global customer in the future. Um, is it possible that Visionox goes and does TV? Mm -hmm. Or you only focus on mobile? Yeah, we we sizes. Uh, we're our plane covering different size in the uh, in the whole industry, and and for larger size, we do have plane in the future uh, with um, higher generation of panel production line. All right, cool. Okay, yeah. thanks okay. a lot. Okay, thank you. Thank Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use Wise. Wise is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your Wise card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. Don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart.